Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs and welcome back to yet another GC Doom tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at uh, setting up a very basic door, specifically in this case a secret room. And we're going to take a look at, you know, how we actually do that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make sure that our, uh, our grid size, there we go, thank you tooltips, uh, is set to 16. And then we want to hit control shift D and then I'm just going to place down what will be our door and I'm going to hit S and then I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to move it over slightly because I kind of wanted it to be yeah, in the middle. So, and I'm just going to deselect that. Now, the next thing we need, obviously, is an actual room. So the idea here is it's like this is a secret room and you can go into it and then, you know, there'll be items or whatever in there. And I'm just going to make another small room, not very big. Okay. And I'm going to hit T to go into entity place. And I'm going to right click in the center of the room. I'm going to go to weapons. And I'm going to give it just, what should we have? The shotgun. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to hit L to go into the line select or line def mode. I'm going to select both of these side um, lines here. And I'm going to select lower unpegged. Now, why do we need to do this? Well, if you were to not check this, the texture would scale and move with the door. And we really don't want that because it looks kind of weird. Okay. And now what we're going to want to do is hit Q to go into the 3D mode. And we just want to grab the top. And we want to pull down because we want our door to go up. And we just want to slide it all the way down just like that. And then we want to hit L again to go into line def mode. And we want to select both of these and then right click. And then go into front, select this, and then select our door. In our case, we want it to match, right? Because it's a secret door. So, you know, we want it to be the same texture. But you can pick any kind of texture. Now, do keep in mind that this is a very basic door. So we're just making a secret room door. I'm going to have other tutorials for the various different types of doors. And the other thing we want to do is we want to set our identification to 1. And then over here, select Browse Action. You can also hit the drop down, or you can type uh, 202, and we want Door Generic, and we want a repeatable action. Actually, no, we don't want a repeatable action. We just want when the uh, when player presses Use. Now you can assign the sector tags, the delay, how fast the door goes up and down, the lock. Uh, so this would be for like you know the various keys and skulls and so forth that you can gather. And the type. So the type is open close. And that means that it goes up. And then when it comes down, well, you know, you have to, you know, exit or, you know, reopen and press the action again. But what we want is open and stay. And we'll hit OK. And then we'll hit OK. And now, if everything went right, we'll be able to launch it, go in. It might take a second for y'all, but I'm going to grab this. This. Okay, so our door is right here. We know this. We'll hit E. The door goes up. And in, we'll just wait a moment here. Just We want to make sure. Okay, it doesn't look like... Okay, good. So the door's not going down. It's staying open. And there you have it. You have made a secret room and a basic door. And that's, that's actually literally it. You can go from here and you can just assign you know, all the doors you want. And another thing that we are going to look at before we end this here, since we do have this, you can assign the sector tag. Um, so you can change this to match. Now, in our case, and this is something we did not do, uh, we actually want this uh, sector to be identification one. And then we want to go into here. I'm actually going to set this to 1, and then we'll change this to sector tag 1. And I'm just going to double check and make sure that this works. I got it backwards, but it works because there's only one door. Um, so I'm glad I fixed that. Yep, there we go. And now we have our door. Okay, so now everything works as expected. Okay, so thank you all for watching. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below, or you can join my Discord. Definitely do ask there. It's a lot easier. And I will see you all in the next one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.